is Microsoft Bing rolling out a perplexity competitor? Perplexity competitor. Shouldn't that be the other way around? Shouldn't perplexity be trying to compete with Bing? But actually, I think Bing and Microsoft are trying to compete with perplexity here. All right, this is weird, but awesome. All right, let's jump into it. Uh, if you're new here, what's going on? My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter, helping people like me and you learn and leverage generative AI to grow our companies, grow our careers. So if this is helpful, this video, hit that thumbs up subscribe, leave me a comment, but please go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter and reply to it. I'll, I'll reply back to you. All right. So let's, let me tell you uh, a little bit about what this uh, Bing deep search is. So first things first, it's probably hidden. Let me show you what I mean. All right. I know I'm clicking around here. So uh, right here, you don't see anything, right? So uh, you actually have to make uh, the browser wider. All right, so look in the upper kind of right-hand corner. Uh, nothing's there. That's why I say it's kind of secret. It's literally hidden. All right, so you have to keep pulling, and you're going to see, oh, there goes Copilot. All right, that's not what we're looking for. That's just going to chat with Copilot with this, which was already here. That's nothing new. Keep going. Keep going, and bam, there it is. I'm on a huge monitor, so I don't know. You either have to be really zoomed out or maybe it just doesn't work on smaller screens. I don't know, but let's go ahead and click that and take a look. So watch real quick right here where my cursor is, all right? Uh, it's going to search a lot of different things. So you see it's doing Microsoft Copilot and Copilot Pro comparison, all right? It's gonna keep searching different things, all right? It's, it's gonna, now how to choose between Copilot and Copilot Pro. It's going to keep going, keep going. Copilot versus Copilot Pro features, pricing and performance, et cetera. So if you've used perplexity, right? So I ran a similar uh, search in perplexity. You can click here and it went through 21 different uh, searches, right? So we can do that. Uh, we can do that live. Let's just watch. So uh, Copilot versus Copilot Pro. So watch how perplexity works. So same thing. It says searching web. It goes very quick. And it's, you see here, it's 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 writing an answer by what it's uh, searching, right? And it's essentially searching all these different uh, phrases, and it's going through and it's essentially reading from dozens of sources. So that's kind of what we're seeing here um, in Deep Search. So it's now it's done. So not only does Deep Search uh, search completely different, uh, but it also uh, launches Copilot right here as well. So one of the main reasons that it does this is to better is, is to get a better understanding and to get you a better search. Because as an example, maybe when I'm talking about Copilot versus Copilot Pro, maybe I actually mean car accessories or flight software. So I can click and be like, oh, what does that mean? And sure. So I'm going to click flight software. And now you'll see, even though maybe I was searching Copilot versus Copilot Pro, but I was actually searching about Flight software, flight flight software, and not Microsoft AI services. But I was obviously talking about Microsoft AI services. Uh, so that is the uh, the very uh, simplest way to describe it. So here is the default search, right? So you'll see there's no Copilot search, and you don't get this deep search that tries to get a better understanding, almost like perplexity does, of what your search is about. So this is really on, only gonna, only going to be uh, helpful when you maybe search with very broad terms, right? So essentially what uh, Bing Deep Search is doing is it's taking your very short uh, search term and it's adding, uh, you know, many more words and more descriptions to it and searching over and over and over and over and over and hopefully getting not only a better understanding of your search, but also to give you better results. Because you'll see here's, I mean, here's the difference. So not only do you get this deep search to where if uh, there is some confusion, you can switch between, in this case, it didn't. But I mean, let's just look at the difference in search, right? So right here, we're getting this, uh, this great, I, I don't even know what we call this, uh, this knowledge box, right? I, I think in uh, in Google, it's called a knowledge graph. Uh, let's see if we get that in the normal search. So we don't. Okay. So interesting. Uh, we got that kind of knowledge graph. Uh, I'm sure there's a word for this. So let me know if you're watching, if I got this wrong. Um, so you not only get that, but you also get 
uh, the copilot search. So by default, the copilot search does not kick in. Here it does. So I can start reading the copilot search. One other thing that even the default search does that Bing just started doing kind of recently is giving you those perplexity-like uh, results. So even in the default search, even though it's not kind of above the digital fold, if you scroll down, you do get this kind of perplexity-esque uh, search result, right? So you do also get that when you run the deep search. So again, the deep search runs many related searches to give you uh, better topics. Uh, it, it's giving me just richer results, really, right? Um, which is funny. It, when I didn't do the, uh, the deep search, it didn't give me um, any like news stories, right? And when I did, uh, it, it can tell by doing those searches over and over and over again, it knows that this is a recent event and there's news stories about this, right? Different news stories. Uh, so they're all right here. Um, and then if I scroll down again, uh, we get the co-pilot search and then we get this, this graph search, which is really cool. Uh, again, I don't even know what this is called, but I can kind of click here um, and uh, go to that, uh, go to that individual website. Uh, and then I can scroll down and yeah, just much richer results and just better as well. Right. Uh, so I think just a much better version of searching on Bing. If you use the deep search, yeah, it takes a little bit, uh, you know, it takes like 30 seconds. It says, uh, but I think it's definitely worth it. All right. Let me know what you think. If this was helpful, please go to your sign up for that free daily newsletter and we'll see you back for another AI five. Thanks y'all.